Benedict XVI recalled that while scientific advances in genetics have improved the diagnosis of diseases, they've also presented new challenges. È necessario ribadire che ogni discriminazione esercitata da qualsiasi potere nei confronti di persone, popoli o etnie sulla base di differenze riconducibili a reali o presunti fattori genetici è un attentato contro l'intera umanità. He spoke to scientists, theologians and philosophers participating in an international congress on genetics in Rome organized by the Pontifical Academy for Life. For three days, experts from around the world studied the new frontiers of genetics and their risks of eugenics. The discussion focused on studying the practices of genetics that lead to considering that some unhealthy embryos are less useful than healthy ones and must be eliminated. The word eugenics seemed to be a word that pertained to the past, but in fact, it's still valid because an eugenic mentality is growing and perhaps the greatest danger is that although the term is not used, the mentality that not all people have the same dignity is being assumed. The participants were especially alarmed by the selection of embryos during in vitro fertilization because it eliminates those who have genetic diseases like cystic fibrosis or Down syndrome. The case of children with Down syndrome, today those children practically are no longer born because they eliminate the problem of Down syndrome by eliminating them, in this case not letting them live. These projects involve an ethics opinion that argues that it does provide supposedly a normal life for people, but normal has not yet been defined. The president of the Pontifical Academy for Life denounced this mentality that states that some are better than others and highlighted that nobody has the authority to define the rules of a normal life.